The 10 best Arnold Schwarzenegger movies in honor of Fubar, Fubar, Fubars. I, I don't know how to pronounce his new Netflix TV show, but Arnold Schwarzenegger's back on Netflix eight episode TV show called Fubar. And I decided one of my favorite movie stars of all time. This is a guy who I love many, many of his films. He's one of the few actors that I've actually can say I've seen every movie within his filmography and so today I wanted to talk about my 10 favorite movies of Arnold Schwarzenegger here on the Beniverse Movie Channel. All right, so let's start this off. Coming in at number 10, I have The Running Man. I'm not going to go into too detailed of descriptions for these movies, but I'm just going to say why I personally love The Running Man. The reason I love it is because the action's fun. Arnold Schwarzenegger is having a blast. It's based on the Stephen King short a novel. It's kind of the Hunger Games before the Hunger Games, where everything's so extravagant, everything's so big, everything's so wild. These characters are just so out there, and this premise of basically having to do this for entertainment, it has this dystopian element that Arnold returns to in his career. I just really appreciate this movie, the set design, the action, the humor he has basically after every kill. He has an iconic one-liner. I just love The Running Man, and that's why it's coming in at number 10. Coming in at number nine, this is a movie that did not go appreciated when it was released in the 90s. This is a movie that I think as it has grown, the meta-ness of this humor has really worked towards its benefit. And I think had this film come out now versus in 1992, I think this movie would be so much more better received. And that is Last Action Hero. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's a really funny guy, and in this movie, he really gets to show off those chops, poking fun at his whole career, at Stallone's career, all of that. Also on top of it, it has really great action pieces in it. Arnold Schwarzenegger's just doing what he does best with the action and the comedy and being the ultimate movie star. I really enjoy The Last Action Hero. Coming in at number eight, maybe I should have had this title slightly higher. This is an Arnold Schwarzenegger film through and through. This is his most pure action film. This is kind of a, the really defining performance for the Schwarzenegger persona, and that is Commando, where he is a one-man army off to go save his daughter, played by, I believe, the actress is Melissa Mil Alyssa Milano, excuse me, and... It's just Arnold Schwarzenegger going through and killing everybody in his way. It's a really brutal movie. It's a insanely funny movie because Arnold Schwarzenegger's doing the funny lines. Uh, ignore him. He's dead tired. All of that as he's killing people. There's so many jokes. He has like a huge bazooka at one point. It's just pure Arnold Schwarzenegger spectacle. Nobody does B-movie action and elevates the material quite like he does. He is such a charismatic guy on screen. And this movie, more than Terminator, more than Conan's, more than any of those other action movies he built, this is what the persona of Arnold Schwarzenegger is built on, is the foundation of Commando. Coming in at number seven, I just mentioned this movie. This is a movie that I don't love as much as others do, but I respect it, and it's so important to the legacy and the career of Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is one that really just gets to show off his size, his muscles, and it also shows how interesting of an actor of selection Arnold Schwarzenegger is. This is not a guy who just sticks to one theme or one genre. And this movie's Conan the Barbarian, where he plays a literal barbarian. This is very fantas uh, this is sorry, this is very fantastical. This is largely like, you know, kind of the Dungeons and Dragons feel to it, where it's just these creatures and it's a very, you know, fantasy based story is what I'm trying to get at. Excuse me for going on this long tangent, but that's what this movie is trying to be. And so he's an actor that can jump from genre to genre. He can do action. He can do comedy. He's also picking these fantasy films. And that's what makes him such an interesting actor is because he's willing to put himself and make himself available for any type of part. There's not a role that Arnold Schwarzenegger defines himself in. In this movie, he is Conan the Barbarian, a huge muscular guy, literally, and he's an awesome fighter. There's some really great swords fight in this movie. I just really appreciate Conan the Barbarian for what it is. Coming in at number six, I 
love this movie. And this is a testament to how good of an actor and how many great films Arnold Schwarzenegger has been in that this movie is number six. This to me is maybe his best performance that he's given in his career. I think it is such a perfect partnership that he has with this director who he's done a few movies with. It's such great comedic chemistry. He's doing everything that Schwarzenegger is really good at. He has the comedic timing. He has the action set pieces. He's working with a great director. He has great on-screen chemistry. He's a good romantic lead. He just fits all these boxes so well. And when the movie demands him to be funny or kick-ass, he does so in spades. And this movie is true lies. Absolutely fun movie. He has such great chemistry with Jamie Lee Curtis in here. Jamie Lee Curtis is absolutely spectacular in True Lies. This should have been her Oscar win. His chemistry with Tom Arnold, all of this, the action in this film is so much fun. James Cameron just knows how to deliver spectacle on a big scale. And Arnold Schwarzenegger, bigger than life, is able to deliver that toe-in-toe with Cameron. Coming in at number five, maybe I have this one too high. I love this movie, though. This is maybe my most rewatched Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. I think his comedic timing is so good. I think he is maybe one of the five funniest people to ever be in movies. And just the way he is able to use his physicality for comedy, his size, the fact that he's willing to be the butt of the jokes. He's not one of these actors that demands that they win everything or have these basically mythos to them he allows himself to be the butt of the jokes he allows himself to get beaten up he allows himself to struggle and to be made fun of for his appearance and this film is that just done so perfectly and this film is kindergarten cop i absolutely adore kindergarten cop largely based on arnold schwarzenegger's humor he is so funny in this movie the chemistry he has with the kids there's so many rewatchable scenes the scene where he punches out the father who's abusing his kid everything about this movie it's not a tumor i love 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 kindergarten cop like i said this is my most easily rewatchable film of his coming in at number four this was one of those challenging ones because obviously you guys knew there was going to be Terminator films represented on this list. It was the question of what order do I put them in and where and how do I rank one above the other? So for this, I am putting the performance of Terminator 2 here. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Now, let me quantify something. I actually prefer watching Terminator 2. I think it's a better movie overall. But what Schwarzenegger does so well in this movie is he gets to play the hero and he gets to just be the ultimate cool guy in Judgment Day. This is an absolutely incredible directed film by James Cameron, but I associate Terminator 2 Judgment Day more with James Cameron than I do Arnold Schwarzenegger, even though they're very synonymous to both of these films. That's why it's coming in at number four. But for the quality of Terminator 2 Judgment Day, this is his best film by far. And he gives a really good performance. There's so many heartfelt beats in there. The final moment where he puts up the thumb as he's going down into the furnace. Absolutely incredible stuff. This is, again, an example of an actor who, let's be frank, doesn't have the greatest of range, but he knows who to work with. A director like James Cameron, who makes him an interesting actor and is able to use Arnold Schwarzenegger and kind of dissect everything that makes Schwarzenegger an interesting on-screen presence, he's able to capture that and put it in Terminator 2 Judgment Day. And that's why it's coming here on this list. Coming in at number three... This one is such an interesting film in the Schwarzenegger filmography because it's so offbeat. It's so weird. He doesn't ever allow himself to go back to this level of weirdness for him as a actor. But this is such a weird, like inventive film that commentates on the specific time. It's a very political film. It's a very sci-fi based film it's a very weird director with paul Verhoeven, and admittedly i haven't seen this film in a few years but this film left such an impact on me and that is total recall this is arnold schwarzenegger this may be one of his best performances because he 
plays so against type. He's this guy who doesn't feel in control. He's not aware of his surroundings, his situation. He's kind of just thrown into this. So it's weird when you have a guy like Arnold Schwarzenegger who's so bigger than life. And on any planet that he is, he's still bigger than life. And yet that bigness of him makes him stand out even more. And it makes him feel even more alien and confused and lost. And Paul Verhoeven, just like James Cameron, knows how to use Schwarzenegger to make something so interesting and so unique within Schwarzenegger's filmography. And it's Schwarzenegger, again, allowing himself to play just a different tune because he's not the typical action hero prototype in this movie. It's a far more complicated performance that's far more challenging, and Schwarzenegger reaches it with depth in this movie. That's why it's coming in at number three. Coming in at number two, if Commando certified his star power and the qualities that make Schwarzenegger Schwarzenegger then this film really cements him as who he is, what we love about Schwarzenegger, what is so larger than life about him, and what's so interesting about him as an actor. And the fact that he can basically hold the screen for extended periods of time and be such an interesting screen presence despite being in a kind of cheesy B-movie. And that's Predator. Predator is, again, Arnold Schwarzenegger... Bigger, badder than life. Just this ultimate kind of god of a man. Stripped down, vulnerable, being killed, hunted by this predator. And it's this survival instinct movie. And what's so interesting about that is Arnold Schwarzenegger is literally larger than life. So the fear that he is able to display when he sees the predator or when he's getting, you know, his team's getting killed off... It's just such an interesting juxtaposition for a guy who looks like Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, of course, gets to have the moments in this film. Everybody remembers the lines like, you are one ugly mother blanker. They, they get to remember CIA got you pushing too many pencils. They get all of those moments within Predator. They get to see Arnold Schwarzenegger having incredible chemistry with guys like Jesse Ventura with guys like Carl Weathers, utilizing Jane Black's screenplay just to his advantage. It's kind of just like, to a degree, he's able to just make that screenplay sing. He is a guy who's just hitting every note perfectly, and that's what's so good about Schwarzenegger. He never extends himself in a way that goes too far away from his acting abilities, but he's also able to do something extremely different. And again, he's a guy who doesn't mind getting his ass kicked on screen, which makes him more vulnerable and more interesting of a hero. And that's why Predator is coming in at number two. And then finally, coming in at number one, we all know why it's number one. It's his most iconic performance. It's his most important performance he's given in his career. It's what defines him. It is what we all think of when we think Arnold Schwarzenegger in movies. And that's The Terminator. The Terminator is this all-time performance. It's one of the few times we actually get to see Arnold Schwarzenegger play a villain in a film. You know, this is a role that's supposed to go to O.J. Simpson, but ends up going to Schwarzenegger. And Schwarzenegger is able to just challenge something uh, within himself as an actor. And that's remove all form of charisma. He is a robot. He is a killing machine. And he does so with such scary intent. This is such a precise movie in its direction and its use of Schwarzenegger. And what Schwarzenegger's doing here that's so brilliant as an actor is he's literally stripping away everything that made Schwarzenegger interesting as an actor. And it's kind of reinventing himself as this, not only this badass, because we've seen him be a badass in Conan, and we know how big he is because of pumping iron. It's reinventing himself as he is a screen presence that is solely going to hold the screen, not based on his humor, not based on the voice, nothing like that. It's just pure size and awe factor of this and this scary performance that he gives of basically being something that can't be killed. And it's so great. And it's what makes Arnold Schwarzenegger so 
incredible. It is just a movie star being born in front of our eyes. And I love him for this. And I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I will always root for him. And I will always see his movies. So anyway, those are my 10 favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. If you like this video, make sure to like, hit that subscribe button, and follow the Beniverse Movie Channel for more videos. Thank you all for watching. Take care and bye-bye.